Hello everyone, welcome back. It is the 3rd of January 2023 and today we received the Baker Creek order, um, which is really exciting. Actually, this came very quickly. I only ordered it last Wednesday, so it wasn't even a week. So Baker Creek, one thing, they put a lot of effort into their packaging. They have this uh, Chinese pink celery mural here. We actually grew that one year. It was, it was all right. It was celery. Um, it's kind of fun, but just very strongly flavored. Um, but yeah, they're really going with that pink celery this year in terms of their uh, decorations. So let's open this up and see what we have in here. It's always an exciting thing. Now, this isn't everything that we're growing. This is just uh, what we ordered. Um, obviously, uh, we'll make another video about this, but we reuse our seeds uh, from past years. You can Seeds will last many, many years. So I only order kind of what I'm out of or what I want to try that's new. So here are some of them. Uh, bread and salt tomato. Never tried it. That's an ox heart Russian variety. Sounds kind of interesting. Oriole orange shard. We grow that every year. It's really nice. It actually turns out very orange, unlike that yellow. It'll start yellow later in the season. It gets more and more orange. A Jvarsky pepper, a fantastic sweet um, all-purpose pepper. This was our one of our freebies, Merlot lettuce. Never grown it. Looks pretty though. Free seed pack. Baker Creek gives you a free seed pack um, with each order. We're going to try peanuts for the first time, so we'll make videos on those. Then we've got the five-color shard. We grow a lot of shard because we eat a lot of shard. You want to grow, you know, what you're going to eat. A rose cone pollo is a pepper that um, I haven't been able to get the last few years, but they have it again, which is exciting. Mini bell pepper mix. We grow the mini red bells, but now they just have the mix, so that's that one. Habanada, one of our favorites. We made videos on most of these, unless we haven't grown them before, like uh, the tomato. Uh, fenugreek, which is a great herb um, for the herb garden. It's, it's an annual here um, that's used in a lot of Indian dishes. Cubanelle pepper which is a very slightly, um, I would say, warm pepper, like a green pepper with a little bit of zing to it. This paprika is what we use for our, our smoked paprika blend as the base. Then we've got this that looked cool, Balloon Flower Fuji Blue. That's a perennial down to zone three. I've never grown it, uh, but it looks really pretty, so I figured I'd order it. It was in one of their new this year items. Then fish pepper, we've grown that in the past also, mildly hot, really cool plant. It has like a variegated leaf structure. This was one of our other freebies. If you order enough, you get two. Um, daddle pepper, I've never heard of that. Apparently it's a hot little orange pepper. So we'll grow like one plant of it just to see. I'm not big on super hot peppers, but we'll find a good use for it. It's good in the paprika mix anyway. I'm excited about this. We've never grown this uh, sweet glow watermelon. Um, it's supposedly a really good watermelon for the north. Um, and so I think that'll do well here. We actually bought one at a farmer's stand. I think it was that last summer. Um, this is new to us too. This tomato sart release, I think is how you say it. Should be kind of a fun one. Amish paste, always a classic. I made a video on that last summer. Just an amazing, amazing tomato. I mean, it really is perfect for canning, but you can eat it f fresh too. Um, unlike a lot of Romas, it just has enough juice and flavor. It's just a fantastic tomato. This is one we're trying this year for the first time. Zulu pepper. I guess it stays purple the entire time, so that's kind of fun. It's a sweet pepper. Our old favorite, Blue Beauty tomatoes. They really are blue. Made lots of videos on those. They grow great. King of the North. I've never tried it, but I've always thought the name sounds cool, so... Um, we'll give that a try this year. We'll make videos again on all these different things that are new. Um, bachelor button, another perennial here. Now this is fireworks blend, red, white, and blue. I thought that looked kind of cool. So we're going to grow it in a big container and hopefully it'll be ready for 4th of July. Uh, whorehound. Um, this is a perennial herb for our medicinal herb garden. Um, usually you see this made into candy, but it's also supposed to be really good as a medicinal herb for all sorts of different respiratory issues, so that's kind of cool. So thank you for watching. That's our um, Baker Creek order. As I said, stay tuned for videos on some of these cool and unusual plants coming up this season.